ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله Dear viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your host, Kareem Abu Zaid, and this is your show, Let's Talk About It, airing for the first time on our new edition, Islam Q&A, a new TV channel. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless it and to make it uh, a good means uh, for people to learn about Islam and to acquire the pure knowledge of Islam. Let me see here, I think we have our first caller. Let me see if we can pick this up. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, this is Maryam. Sister Maryam, how are you doing? MashaAllah, you're, you're... Can you hear us? It's the one from, this is one from Texas. Oh, MashaAllah, Sister Maryam, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, doing good. Just um, been long you know, taking kids to doctors' offices, but other than that, doing very good. Thank you. And I just found a, since this website is new, I just found it through my Facebook. So I'm glad I connected because I was missing the shows. So your sister Candice or Maryam? Yeah. Well, Maryam is my yeah sister Candice, but Maryam is my name I chose to go by. Oh, mashallah, sister Candice. Uh, by the way, dear viewers, you know you're you're very uh, you're amazing because. You're really officially our first caller ever on our channel now. You know that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. I did not know that. I did not know that. Just, uh, we just. That's good too. This good. is good. this is our first day, and this is our first show, and you are the first caller in our show. So the, you're you're a record breaker. Remember on Gaidas TV, you you were the first one who accept Islam uh, on Gaidas TV. You remember that? Of course I do. It's been, yes, it was, in fact, um, if I have to put it down to the date, starting on Thursday will be two two years and one month, but we're not going to do that. But yes, it's been two years now since I've done that. And um, sorry if there's any, no if there's any noise. Um, my question is, I'll get to the question and everything since you probably got um, with people coming in and starting to call or email you. Um, I haven't been to matches for a while because of health situations, but I was wondering, out of the two years that I was studied, does, is the law just more concerned about, um, I should know the answer, but you could correct me if I have to. It is important to go to the matches, of course, and I do have sisters that call me, but um, if we just do this laws at home, me being a woman, is that also acceptable, me um, doing everything like reading the Quran at home and everything if I can't make it to the matches as much, or... Should I, I mean, I try to go when I can, but health situations are holding me back. But I personally think Allah is more concerned about me paying attention to Him and worshiping Him than trying to get down to the masjid if I can't physically make it. So I've seen what your input was. Sister Candice, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, continue to bless you and bless your family and uh, keep you steadfast uh, on the path of guidance. Um, MashaAllah, uh, by the virtue of her accepting Islam. Uh, I remember well her husband did, then her children, then one of her sisters. I took the shahada of one of your sisters as well. Fa, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, continue to bless you with the steadfastness uh, until you make it to Jannah, uh, you and the rest of uh, the Muslims, including myself. Uh, answering your question, and let's make this a general, um, uh, our sister is concerned that she has not been to the masjid uh, to observe the salah uh, or to do other activities. Uh, does this affect uh, her uh, rituals? Uh, you will be surprised, uh, Sister uh, Maryam, uh, to find out uh, that the best place uh, for Muslim women uh, to pray is their homes. Uh, 
during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, a woman came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and the hadith is authentic. And she said, Ya Rasul Allah, O Messenger of Allah, I love to pray with you, behind you, in your masjid. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said to her, I know you do, but the best place for women to pray is her bedroom, meaning inside her bedroom. And her salah in her bedroom is more rewarding than her salah in her living room. And her salah, salah means prayers, in her living room is more rewarding than the salah in her local masjid, local mosque. And her salah in her local mosque is more rewarding than her salah in my masjid. And we know that when you observe a salah in the masjid of the Prophet wasallam, it is 1,000 times more multiplied. So at the end of the day, the best place for women, for the Muslim sisters, to observe their salah, their ibadah, is their homes. So you are doing the right thing. But whenever we say this, we need to remind the brothers and the sisters that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam made it crystal clear fi hadith ibn Umar fi Sahih bukhari وَلَا تَمْنَعُوا إِمَاءَ اللَّهِ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ And don't you ever ban the female servants of Allah, the female servants of Allah, the houses of Allah. Uh, I'm saying this why? Because husbands, fathers, cannot prevent their wives, their daughters, from going to the mosque to observe ibadah as long as they observe the etiquettes of going to the masjid. Uh, I mean by the et etiquette, the dress code, uh, the way that they should dress and so forth. You cannot ban uh, Muslim women from going to the masjid. Um, Umar ibn Khattab, Sister Maryam, uh, had a wife and she liked to go and pray in the masjid, to pray in the masjid. And she knew Umar is so jealous. Omar is so jealous to see her leave and go to the masjid. So his wife would say to him, By Allah, I know you're very jealous. I know you're very jealous, but yet I'm still going to go to the masjid because I know that you know the messenger of Allah said, Do not ban or prevent or stop the female servants of Allah from going to the houses of Allah. So I hope I answered you, Sister Mariam. Uh, you still there? Yes, 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 I am. And um, one more thing in this, um, I guess you did answer my, my main question. One more thing, my youngest child, he was, um, now I've been teaching him a lot, and he's almost five years old and very, very smart for his age. He was wondering um, if he could do what his brother did. He's been asking and all that, and I just wasn't sure, but Allah has been showing me that he, he is ready, so if you're willing to, I could call back at another time or discuss an email if I have to, but he he wanted to um, say the Shahada just like his brother did, but we, if we, we went would, over it for the past year. We, we would love to, that's, uh, you know, that's a blessing, it's our first show, this is our first day of broadcast, you know, if you, I would love for you to go and visit that channel, even after we have very nice, interesting shows for children, uh, we would love to, to have Shahada on our first show. <laughs> well, here, he's right. He's right here. I said he, he's young, so I'll let, put him to the phone and let you speak to him. Okay. What is his name? Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hi. Can you hear me? What is your name? What is your name? Daniel, are you ready to accept Islam, Daniel? Yeah. Are you? 
are you going to be able to say this after me? Can you bring the telephone near your mouth so the viewers can hear you well? Yeah. Okay, are you ready to say after me? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Say Ashhadu. Al can you raise your voice a little bit? Ashhadu. Allah ilaha Illallah Wa ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Allahu Akbar, that is so beautiful. Can you please say it in English now? I bear witness. Say that. I bear witness. Can you say, I bear witness? I bear witness. That there is no God. Worthy of my worship. But Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar, MashaAllah, <laughs> that is so beautiful, Sister Maria. May Allah reward you. May Allah grant Daniel steadfastness as well. Jazakallah khairan, this is so beautiful. Um, may Allah bless your family. And uh, MashaAllah, you know, if, uh, are you there, Sister Maryam? Yes, I'm right here, and he, he said thank you, and he's handing me the phone back. Jazakallah khaira. May Allah reward him, uh, Daniel. Just keep going and uh, uh, watch Slam Q&A. We have some good shows for children and I think he will enjoy it. Yes, I, I appreciate it and I'll let you get on. Thank you very much and I'm glad that Samuel was able to take his first shahada on your show and it is a great blessing and I look forward to watching future shows on here and I'll let you go so other callers can call in or you can answer emails. جزاك الله خيرا بارك الله فيك وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Isn't that so beautiful that in our first uh, show, our first day broadcast, we have a شهادة. I mean, you can't have any better treat than that.